good afternoon. Uh, our department uh, administers the community development block grant for, program for the governor, and uh, I'm all over the state, and we deal with all the local communities, both counties and cities, of all sizes across the state. And there's one thing that's pretty much a common denominator, and that most of them face at one time infrastructure problems that they can't deal with on their own. And that's why we have the community development block grant program. And ladies and gentlemen, we are so fortunate to have a governor who recognizes those needs and applies those resources to those communities to improve the quality of life for those people that live in those communities. Our governor, Steve Sheehan. All right. Yeah. That's my hometown, and I noticed uh, your all's population and Dawson Springs population is pretty much about the same. You know, we're about 25, 2,600 people. That's on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, but you know, Hartford in this area reminds me a lot uh, of home. It, it's the same kind of place. It's a great place to live and to raise a family, uh, and, and it's. It's based on the values that has made Kentucky so great. And, and it's, those, it's those rock bed values that, that we have all shared throughout all the years and, and that Kentucky's built on. Uh, so it's always great to get back here and get your feet on the ground, get out of Frankfurt, uh, and, and be back home with, with folks like the folks that I grew up with. You know, the mayor said uh, she might as well apply again. Well, let me tell you something. She's persistent. And she's been a great mayor. I, we ought to give her a round of applause. Yeah. You know, I think it was 2009 when we were here. And uh, we gave the mayor at that time a check for a million dollars or phase one of a badly needed sewer rehabilitation uh, project. And we know the problems that, that you continue to have with your sewers during heavy rains. And we want to help you fix that and finally get the job done. Uh, I'll tell you, she's been a great steward. She and the city have been great stewards of that money. And that's one of the reasons that we decided to give more funding here uh, because they have been good stewards. They've used the money wisely. They have they have used it where it's supposed to go, and and the folks have done a great job uh, with that money. So we're here today with another check. This one's for eight hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars. Now that's going to help complete this phase two of this project, and I know that that's a slightly less amount than we brought the first time. Uh, but Mayor, I just have one request. Uh, can you display it in the window of City Hall like you did the first time? <laughs> I remember that. She put that first check right up there in the window and, and uh, I'd just love to see the second check there too. You know, all jokes aside, this is, this is a very much needed uh, expenditure uh, that we're going to make here in Hartford because it's a must for, for families here to have a decent quality of life. And it's a must for this community to be able to grow and thrive and to continue to, to succeed in economic development. Uh, I know from the reports that, that I've heard that uh, the sewer lines here still aren't doing the job that they need to do. I mean, they were built in the 1930s some of them were built in the 1960s. Uh, they suffer from severe inflow and infiltration issues when it rains hard. And the manhole covers allow raw sewage to overflow into the streets and the ditches sometimes. And that's where residents and children are working and playing. And that's unsafe. Uh, and the city incurs high costs to treat wastewater in periods of heavy rain. And we just need to step up 
and finish this job, and that's what we're here to do. You know, this money, this $837,000, comes through Tony's uh, office, uh, the Community Development Block Grant Program. And that's going to help the city go forward with the design and replacement and repair of almost 15,500 linear feet of sewer lines and about 85 manhole covers here in Hartford. Now, that's not all the money going into this project. The rest of it is being funded by a $600,000 USDA Rural Development Loan and a $400,000 USDA Rural Development Grant. And as I understand it, construction is anticipated to begin in September. A whole lot of people caused this to happen. Uh, Tony Wilder's outfit that we know, the Department for Local Government, they administer these grants. But let me tell you, the reason I'm standing here today with this check is number one, this mayor, and number two, your legislators. Tommy Thompson, your state representative, your Senator Jerry Rose, because they kept knocking on my door and reminded me that we still had a job to do here in Hartford. And I'll tell you, you, you can't do any better than having folks representing you in Frankfurt, like Tommy, like Jerry, uh, they have done a magnificent job, and, and that's how I know things. You know, as you can imagine, we got 120 counties, a lot more cities than that, and one person can't keep up with what's going on or the needs out there. And so I rely upon your officials, like the mayor, like your state representative, like your state senator, to keep me up on what's happening and to keep me up on the needs of the community. And I can tell you, uh, Tommy Thompson, Jerry Rhodes, and the mayor worried me to death, uh, <laughs> making sure that I knew uh, about this issue. And I'm glad they did. That's what this is all about, is helping folks who help themselves. And you ought to be proud here at Hartford and in Ohio County because you're those kind of folks. You don't just sit around and wait for something to happen. You step up and try to make something. And sometimes you need a little assistance, sometimes you need a little help, and that's what we're here for. But this is a partnership. This is a partnership between the state and the city and the USDA, all to make sure that we raise that quality of life here and that you can continue to live in this great community and enjoy the kind of quality of life that, that we have had here for so long. So I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to bring this check, and uh, we're going to get busy and get the job done. Thank you. Um, at this time, it is my honor to uh, introduce to you, as the governor said, someone who has helped us a great deal. Um, my husband was so embarrassed once. Um, he told me, he said, Charlotte, don't ask him for money again when I saw him and I didn't but he said okay Charlotte I know you need money so um, it's my pleasure to introduce to you my friend and our state representative Charlotte thank you good afternoon it's certainly a pleasure to be here and you know, it's kind of cloudy, Nene, outside, but the sun is shining bright on the city of Hartford today, and we're so pleased to have our governor here. And I just want to add quickly to what Commissioner Wilder said. Uh, we probably, as a state and a country, have gone through some of the most challenging economic times in the last five or six years that we ever have, and thank God we have had Steve this year as our governor. Uh, he's, he's, he's done an incredible job of navigating through these difficult waters. Uh, I think, Governor, you've had to participate in about 11 budget cuts with one most recently. And even with that, he's protected the priorities that I think most of us share as Kentuckians to protect education, promote education, uh, to protect welfare, human services, and to protect the public safety. And he's done that without taking a hatchet and cutting things across the board. He's done it surgically. And Kentucky, as a result of that, has not treaded water during the last six years of his administration. We've progressed. And, we owe that to the leadership of Steve Bashir. And Governor, you're always welcome in Ohio County, but I've talked to the mayor, 
And we made arrangements. Anytime you bring a check of this size, you get the key to the front door and the back door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, and I tell you, uh, Charlotte, you're right. We talked a lot about this project, and I talked to the governor about it, Paul. And the governor said, let me look into that. And he did. He studied it. He uh, analyzed it. And he came back to me and he said, you know, that sounds like something we really need to do for the people of the city of Hartford. He said, let's find a way to make that a reality. And with this check today, Governor, thank you, you're making it a reality. And I want to thank Tony Wilder and the great staff of DLG. Uh, you all are nothing but professionals. And you know, the great thing about DLG and Frankfurt Department for Local Government, Frank, is that they say, let's find a way to make this happen, as opposed to some agencies in other states where they say, we can't do that. That's never the attitude of Tony Wilder and DLG, and it makes a difference. And I particularly want to thank this lady. Where'd you go? <laughs> the mayor right here. Nobody more persistent. And you talk about speed dial, you know my number. <laughs> uh, but Charlotte is so persistent uh, and so dedicated to changing the direction of this community and enhancing the quality of life. We've talked about this project often. And, and Roxanne, you and all the great members of the City Commission, and you all know the travails and challenges of this sewer system over the years. You know, everybody remembers when we started, Joanna, the regional wastewater facility in Hartford, Beaverdam, and Centertown. Well, Hartford took the lead on that. And you all made a lot of concessions and a lot of sacrifices for that to come together at your expense. And this infiltration has been a horrible problem here with all that gallons of water coming in, having to treat that groundwater. It's in hand, you know, incredibly enhanced the bill, grossed up the bill, and then the manholes with the sewage seeping out where we work and play is not healthy. So with this money and the rural development money that's going to be augmented to it, there's going to be a different day in Ohio County. So this is great. Uh, the governor, thank you again so much for your leadership. Jody, for your all's role, and Charlotte in particular, you and the commission. Uh, it's a, it's a bright day here in Hartford, and it's going to be a, a lot better going forward, and the citizens will enjoy a healthier lifestyle, a better quality of improvement because of this grant. Thank you all. Senator Rose uh, could not be here today. Uh, Tommy told me one of the times I was talking to him today that uh, he was he's in Frankfurt with something that uh, he had to take care of. Uh, now I would like to call on our county judge executive, uh, David Johnston. Uh, if he has some remarks, he would like to say. Thanks, Charlotte, so much for, uh, I should say, in this setting, Mayor Hendricks. We're, pretty, we're close friends as well as uh, I am with all the mayors in the, in the uh, county. And I'm very proud that, of this day for Hartford. And uh, I'm so thankful for, to the General Assembly, especially to uh, Governor Bashir. We're a small community, but he has not neglected us. He's been here several times with checks, and we're always glad to see him then. I hope he knows that we'd be glad to see him if he was to come by just for a visit. <laughs> but uh, it's okay to keep bringing the money. All right. And uh, this is not only a great day for uh, uh, the city of Hartford, it's a great day for Ohio County. Thanks again, Governor. Thank you.
think we better get Joanna up here. Yeah. Ah. Come on. The mayor wants to get another like grant. She wants to talk to you about it. <laughs> like oh, and the judge? Yeah, the judge. The judge. Come on. Yeah. generate the enthusiasm needed to accomplish future goals for the betterment of our city, our county, and the Commonwealth. And at this time, it is my pleasure to present to Lynn Travis Littrell an honorary Soarhead Certificate. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 